So if you didn't watch my trading this past week, I had a really accurate and successful time trading these penny stocks. One of my favorite things about this is that I day trade live on stream completely free so you can really verify whether these setups and strategies are actually working in the market. And so with all of that said, I've actually ended every single day in the past two weeks in the penny stock market completely green. I haven't had a losing day in two weeks and that really confirms that these setups legitimately work here. And so make sure to stick around and watch this entire video Video because in this we're fully breaking down step by step how I was able to do that you don't want to miss it what's up team it's John with BT and we're back yet again helping you improve your trading game like I said in the intro we're really delving deeper into these strategies that helped me hit such a successful week last week and I'm really excited hoping these setups and strategies continue to work in this market we're really gonna buckle down and show you exactly how you can approach these trades most of these strategies revolve around momentum and extension in one way or another and we're really gonna try to break down exactly what we're trying to get across in an understandable way so you can really learn these different setups and strategies before we take a look at that though if you want to help support us here you can hit the like hit the sub button below and go check out top step they are a funded account program for futures if you prove you're profitable with the demo they'll fund you anywhere between 30k up to over a hundred K and they've paid out to their profitable traders over two million dollars this year alone you can get 20% off through the link in the description check it out and now let's check these strategies out What's up, what's up team? We're back again, and like I said, I'm really having some fun with my trading in the penny stock market. It's been a really successful time trading them, and it's always fun when you're having success in the market, and that's what we're gonna show you in this video, the strategies that legitimately worked. Most of my trading was made up of three specific strategies that we're gonna go over in this video, and at the beginning of each strategy section, we are going to review the different conditions that need to be present for it to be an a setup. And so let's take a look at these now. Okay, so the first strategy I really wanted to go over in today's video is a very simple pullback one. Now, what I really need for this type of trade is a good amount of volume and liquidity, and it needs to have a lot of eyes on it. It needs to be one of those crazy moving stocks that are having its float rotated, you know, going parabolic, so forth and so on. And once I find something like that, something that has a ton of volume and a lot of eyes on it, the next step I look for is I look for a big pullback. It needs to be a large pullback to a a confirmed level. The reason the pullback needs to be big here is because I need to see some extension in the downward direction. When it pulls back to a confirmed level as well as a half or whole dollar level and it's extended on that pullback, it's going to bounce at that confirmed level at least some a huge percentage of the time. And if you just scalp it, meaning you take a very quick trade, catching that dip and then bounce from it, you can have a really successful system and strategy if you can be disciplined enough to actually wait for it. Again, one of the things that happens when people try to trade this strategy is they might have some success with one of these really big movers and then they get a little bit greedy, they lose patience and they target this type of setup and strategy on one of these lower volume stocks that's just going to turn into an all day fader after that. But if you can wait and have the patience to see some big moves in the market, you know, some big liquidity, big volume stocks, and then wait for an extended pullback to a confirmed level, riding up a quick bounce, again, it can just be a really profitable trade that ends up being a really successful strategy. To give you an example of one, let's take a look at XBIO from this past week. If you look at this chart, you can see a ton of volume in pre-market. It formed a range and it finally broke over that big pre-market high level in the first five to 10 minutes minutes. Once it did that, everyone is waiting for a pullback. It had a ton of volume and everyone's looking for a dip entry here. And so when we get a pretty extended big enough pullback to the 450 half dollar level, which is also the confirmed level from pre-market, we have a really nice bounce play to jump in. If you buy the dip on this and then ride the quick rebound back up to the higher range here, it could be a very, very profitable setup. Plus, if we wanna find a really tight risk or stop loss level, we can see that 440 level right under us, about 10 cents below us in this trade. And so our risk is very, very small. It if we jump in around 450, our risk is only about 10 to 15 cents. And as a reward target, we can target the resistance, confirmed resistance above us. And if you approach it like that, that's really how you build a profitable, good risk reward system and strategy.
Okay, so the next setup that I really wanted to go over in this video and that really worked wonders for me this past week was the U-shaped cup and handle breakout pattern. As the name suggests with this type of trade, you look for a U-shaped breakout pattern and then a quote handle or pullback to get your entry into. This is a really profitable setup because it allows our risk reward ratio to be really tight. You can see we can give ourselves a small risk underneath us and then we'll have a really nice breakout above that previous high, so a much larger reward target but some of the conditions I look for in this type of trade is I want to see some extension away from the VWAP area if we can find some extension away from the VWAP we'll have less of a chance that the VWAP will actually reject it and we'll have a larger range or more room to attack in these type of trades but when the VWAP is right above this u-shaped breakout pattern a ton of the time it's just going to reject and cause you to have a losing trade but if you find some extension there again in these strategies a lot of them were taking advantage of extension it'll just be a lot easier to profit from this trade you'll have a lot more obvious range to attack and you'll just have overall more success with it to look a little bit deeper into an actual example we can look at fat from friday again you can see that u-shaped breakout pattern that we're targeting and when we get that small micro one minute pullback to the half dollar of 850 that was also confirmed previously this is the handle part of the trade and what we really try to do after this is wait for a dip or a pullback to the 850 level that was confirmed previously and ride the breakout over the previous high of the day once we do that, my favorite thing to do is to use that half dollar as a risk level and then target the VWAP as a reward target. That's usually going to give us a really nice organic ratio that's tight enough to profit from, but also this setup has a pretty high accuracy rate as well. And again, if you approach both of those dynamics and really look to build those up, it could be a really successful setup to add to your playbook here. Okay, so the last setup that I wanted to go over in this video that has honestly been really profitable in the last two weeks is really just sympathy plays in the market. And if you don't know, different sectors and subsectors of markets actually move together. And so you might have one stock starting to break a high of the day, and then shortly after you'll have another stock in that same sector moving up on the first stock's sympathy. So moving up in tandem with that other stock. And that causes some opportunity, you know, you have a little bit of lag between breakouts that you could take advantage of and profit from in the market itself. And I did do that a few times this past week. The first time was when Bitcoin really started to run up. It started to look like it was going to break $20,000 per coin. And I was able to find some underrepresented stocks in Bitcoin to get into some pretty quick day trades that I was able to profit from. I know I was watching RIOT and MARA, both blockchain, you know, crypto related stocks. And when Bitcoin started to run, I was able to get into a little bit of a quick trade in those two stocks and profit from in the market. Another example of this was using a really good catalyst and partnership between AYTU and NEOS and as AYTU started to really rip and go crazy I bought NEOS which was you know related and moving up on sympathy and I was able to profit from that trade as well and so it kind of shows you that there are some opportunities to make money in the market if you're paying attention to these different sectors and these stories within these different sectors even if you're scalping these type of moves like me and I think my trading the past two weeks has really been a good example of how you can do that in the market. If you're trying to trade this type of strategy on your own, you're going to need some pretty good scanners and news platforms and programs. I use specifically Benzinga. It's really helpful for finding the most up-to-date news stories in the market. So I can kind of put two and two together, see which different stocks are related, because honestly, that's the most important part of trading sympathy moves to begin with. You got to be able to figure out what stocks are actually related. There's a lot of hot sectors that move in the market on an everyday basis, whether it be crypto, solar you know blockchain vaccine stocks biotech they all move with each other a lot of the time and with that you're going to have some laggers and leaders that you can target to profit in the market again you just need to find out what stocks are actually related find out what the underlying asset or commodity of specific stocks and securities is to begin with and then you can start to target those type of sympathy trades i'll include a few links if you want some of these platforms if you want to check them out plus help support the channel in the description but yeah that's really how i approach them and it's a really profitable one if you can be disciplined enough to wait for it. 
Anyways team, that's it for this one. Remember, these penny stock setups and strategies can be incredibly risky and you definitely want to take it slow and test these setups for yourself before you put real money on the line. You can try to get funded as a professional futures trader with Top Step, and again, it's a great way to help support us. Plus, you can check out the description for our Discord link if you want to reach out to us and talk to us after these videos or streams. Good luck in the market, guys. Make sure to run up those like and subscribe numbers. We'll see you all Monday morning for our day trading live stream. Have a good rest of your weekend, and we'll see you all then.